Tesla is offering yet another two week free autopilot test drive, if you will, uh, for those who ended up uh, opting out of that. Also, uh, once again, Elon is uh, talking about how you can get a free uh, autopilot three hardware upgrade. Another three free, another thing that's that they're offering for free and free uh, uh, securities and exchange uh, investigation is, is also uh, something that is being offered right now from what I understand. We're going to talk about that and a few other things uh, coming up next. Welcome to the show. Thank you to those of you who are watching me on Patreon right here. Uh, and of course, we do the extra mile after that. I just added a Patreon sponsorship package, by the way, if you want to uh, advertise your business uh, as a Patreon. I don't know why my phone is on. Uh, and uh, you can definitely do that uh, uh, now. A few people ask, so I'm doing that. And if this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you're watching me on YouTube so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, let's talk about this uh, autopilot. Uh, there are quite a few interesting things going on. First of all, uh, for, as you know, when you, uh, if you bought an autopilot uh, 2.0, 2.5, uh, the car, all cars, all Model S, Model X uh, cars and Model 3s really uh, uh, came uh, with uh, the hardware, but you didn't really have to buy it. Um, of course, if you buy it originally, it's a little bit cheaper than if you upgrade it later. Uh, but in, from what uh, Tesla is saying, about 70% uh, of those buying Model S, Model X cars have uh, opted out to get that package. Now, I know it's a little bit confusing. There is a, a, a enhanced autopilot and there is a full self-driving autopilot that is not really working right now that you can, of course, already pay for it. Um, now, if you one of those 30% who decided not to take it, and I'm sure that that's probably going to grow a little bit with Model 3 uh, being out, uh, well, you now have a 14, and you know they're rolling it out in the next week or so, 14-day trial where you can activate it. Uh, they have some instructions because uh, when it's activated, you still have to go into the settings and and push on 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 uh, for a lot of this uh, for a lot of these features. But nevertheless, you'll be able to try it and hopefully buy it. Um, it's uh, it's it's just a little bit more if you would have bought it originally. But they're definitely pushing that. And Elon Musk also confirmed. I mean, he did mention this in a, a earnings call um, a few days ago, but he also confirmed that. Um, the the uh, if you have a full self-driving package uh, and uh, with a second version of the autopilot, you will get this super fast computer that they're working on. They're going to be rolling it out uh, uh, anywhere from four to six weeks. Um, that's what he is basically saying. Uh, and that computer is going to be like 10 times as fast um, as what they have right now. So if you have and now if you have a, a, a enhanced uh, package and this is this is the tweet from Elon uh, in response from Electric. Uh, if you have an enhanced autopilot, you don't need the new computer, is what they're saying. But if you, you know, in order to get the full self-driving package working when they come up with the software, um, then they will swap it out for free for you, um, as he promised a while back when they were coming out with original hardware for uh, 2.0 and 2.5. So definitely keeping their word on that. Um, and it's good. And uh, by the way, the new version of uh, the um, uh, um, of the interface is coming up as uh, a new version of uh, version 9 I believe and that should come with a couple of updates to the autopilot from we uh, from what we know so um, that's something that uh, that's that's happening and it's a lot of uh, free stuff that Tesla all of a sudden to, uh, decided to uh, give away which is pretty cool. All right, uh, let's talk about another thing that's happening with uh, Tesla, which is uh, not something that they uh, want to get for free or not. Uh, but before that, I want to remind you, of course, that this channel and this show is sponsored by Avonex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There is a discount code in the description of this video, so uh, you can save yourselves a few bucks when you shop there. All right, let's move on to the tweet of the week or of the year, whatever you want to call it. Um, Elon Musk announced that he wants to take Tesla uh, private at $420, that the funding was secure, and everyone's everyone's hailing this decision, and me, everybody. Um, this is a great idea. I already explained why a couple more, couple times before that, but 
it obviously raised some questions and i mentioned this on the show yesterday and there's no surprise that there are now reports that the u.s securities ex exchange and exchange commission uh is uh, uh launching an investigation they didn't officially announce it but there's a report from a couple of sources um no surprise there because there are a couple issues obviously with the tweet is first of all that um you know, their job is to protect the investors, right? And uh, one of the regulations and one of the rules is that, you know, if you're a CEO and you're announcing something that can affect the stock, uh, that information has to be uh, distributed through a main channel. So everybody has an equal opportunity to, to have that information. Twitter is not really considered to be one of those sources usually, and Tesla has not specifically mentioned to the investors that that is one of the main sources of information. So therefore, that could be a problem, right? So for example, if you follow Elon Musk on Twitter, you had a, a, a better opportunity to maybe buy stock earlier before it went up than somebody who is not following him on Twitter and just following them through a regular uh, uh, sources. Now there's a you know counter argument saying, listen, that tweet was picked up by all kinds of media, so it was really impossible for people not not to figure out that what's happening but nevertheless the original source came from uh non-announced um non-official uh source of communication so that's where they're going to be investigating another thing uh looks like they're going to investigate is whether or not the funding was really secured because that tweet specifically mentioned that um and if it wasn't really secured um, then once again you know a ceo putting out information that's not correct that might affect stock in decision of people to uh, to to buy or sell stock uh, obviously is against the regulations, and they're going to be uh, they're going to be um, investigating him. And I, I I'm kind of torn on this one. Uh, and you know, once again, I'm not a big stock market guy. I don't invest myself. I certainly don't own st uh, Tesla stock. Um, I have before before I changed my channel to uh, uh, do all electric cars. Before my ch before that, by the way, my channel was called Everything Tesla. Because I was just covering Tesla exclusively. So we'll see what happens there. But very, you know, not surprising, but interesting development. All right, let's move on to another non-Tesla, but Nikola news. Nikola Motors is, you know, uh, recent news. They uh, secured an 800 um, uh, semi-truck order from, uh, from uh, what is it, uh, Anheuser-Busch. Um, these are um, hydrogen fuel cell powered. So I'm not really big on this because, you know, in order for them to to go with this truck and when and, and with their technology they would have to build their own infrastructure uh, their own supercharging network of uh, hydrogen fuel cells if you will and obviously that is not something that people can produce at home uh and just as far as technology is concerned this is, has to be a specific uh, uh process how to get to uh to the you know fuel form if you will and then uh actually uh, charge or charge or refuel these trucks or any type of uh uh, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, you know, we are actually having a shortage. Um, Toyota Mirai um, is one of the few cars that are affected here in California, uh, all the stations just running out of uh, hydrogen fuel cell uh, uh, fuel. So that's that's an issue. However, the news is, I should probably tell you the news why I'm talking about it, is they have secured, Nikola Motors have secured a hundred uh, a million dollars in their Series C uh, uh, round of funding. They're tar targeting 200, so only the glass is half full, uh, but they're announcing it and I believe they will announce who that uh, investor is or a group of investors uh, on, on their own once everything is complete, but they believe it will be oversubscribed or uh, over, I, I don't know I don't know what the correct investment term is, but there will be more people interested in investing uh, more money that they're uh, seeking. Sometimes companies take it, sometimes they don't, So, uh, but that's good news for them. Again, I'm not. I, the only other thing that I also don't like about the company is they filed a you know lawsuit uh, against Tesla, saying that uh, Tesla's semi truck lo looks too much like their truck, uh, and it confuses the people about two companies. Of course, I should remind you guys that their uh, company is named Nikola, which is the first name of Nikola Tesla, while Tesla is named after his last name. So I can't imagine how they can actually say this with a straight face when they obviously named a company of the same guy uh, after Tesla already existed. But so I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this company. I'm excited they're doing it all, you know, uh, uh, all electric technology, but I'm not excited at the direction that they're going. But nevertheless, I will see what happens and I will keep you guys updated. All right. Before we get to the comment of the day uh, of somebody who's disagreeing with me, how often does that happen on that show? Uh, let me uh, do shout out to some of my new Patreons. There's so many of you guys pouring in. We're actually just past our first goal of 100 um, Patreons. So I set a new goal. 
But anyway, thank you to Dave uh, for becoming a, a, a Patreon, Dave Strokes. Uh, also, uh, Pat uh, Levine uh, also became Patreon yesterday. Thank you so much, Pat. Brian Millen, also a new Patreon. And uh, these people, by the way, can watch me live and do the uh, Extra Mile segment that I do after I go off the air here on YouTube. Uh, then Phil Round uh, also. And the last but not least rob bellish as well thank you so much guys so much guys for uh, uh joining my patreon uh, uh community and watching me live and 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 obviously we have our own discussions there and our own I, I post some exclusive pictures and so forth and now if you want to become a, a sponsor have your business become a sponsor you can do that for a relatively uh, a reasonable amount i believe all right so let's move on to the comment of the day um probably one of my favorite parts of the show actually if you ask me um and this one we are talking about uh of course the tweet uh, the situation with elon musk taking tesla private at least that's what he wants to do uh this tweet comes from eric fontaine he says alex i'm going to disagree a little bit regarding uh it being bad if elon is just going after the short sellers now this is something i mentioned yesterday um okay i'll just i'll just read the whole 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 thing uh, by the way this is a much longer reply i'm just giving you the first uh a part which is probably the gist of it uh he continues to say while shorting a stock has almost no impact on the long-term price movement short sellers are in fact likely harmful not to the stock price or even the company they short but to society in general okay so first of all as i mentioned many 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 times before i think uh shorting stock should be should not be a thing uh, i think when the stock market is for investing and prospering uh the our economy or whatever economy that the stock exchange is part of um so the company Companies can do better the technology can move forward um, obviously shorting stock is pretty much working against that I think it's against everyone's interests uh, however people do believe that it they, they kind of keep the stock in control from blowing up and that's kind of a, a, a sort of a checks and balances of the stock market um, it, it is a good argument I disagree with it just simply because listen it's it's a market it is the most markety market out there so if people are willing to pay more money than they should it's their own fault we everybody who is investing should know that this is a very risky business and there are tons of them who are professional they're investor advisors and everything so i don't think there that is a, a good way to do that so i'm i'm with you eric that they're harmful in general and uh, to the society i don't know if i'll go that far but i believe that should not be a thing um However, my point was that I hope Elon wants to take Tesla private, not to shut them up, not to get back at them, not to fight them, right? Um, I mean, there's many, many other ways how people want to harm and, and other sources that want to harm Tesla, you know, including anybody who's invested in oil industry and so forth, uh, and, and many, many others, right? Competitors. So you can't, you can't kill them all. You can, I, I hope. Uh, what's behind this um and by the way this does not uh, benefit customers one way or another this whole wall street bs how they're fighting back and forth and short sellers that doesn't benefit me as a, a consumer really what will benefit me if they take it private is that they're no longer under pressure from wall street uh to produce cars too fast to make them uh of, of uh, you know not such good quality because they rushed it same thing with software maybe some of the software and we a lot of people suspect was a rushed and this is why mobile i dropped actually uh, uh their contract with the tesla because they believe tesla was rushing them into uh into making some unsafe decisions and all of that is because it's a public company. They have some goals to set. They say they have uh, to meet those goals. And of course, there's you know short sellers and so forth. But I hope Elon is not so much doing it to get back at people. I, I hope he's doing it to actually make quality of the car and 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 move the company forward for the consumers, for the quality, and for innovation. So I hope he's doing it out of love rather than all out of hate i guess that's what i'm saying here eric so i don't think we're disagreeing here i, I think you maybe missed my point just a little bit so may, maybe it's my fault for not making it clearer but that's what i'm trying to say i hope he's concentrating on the positives rather than necessarily the negative um so that's where i'm at with that all right guys if you are uh, uh patreons and watching me live right now we're gonna go into extra miles a few things to talk about it um if not i will see you guys tomorrow on youtube as always um have a great afternoon or night wherever you're watching me from. Uh, and of course, remember to stay charged.